Breaking the Tropics on CBS 17. After leaving widespread destruction in what could be one of the most devastating hurricanes in Florida's history, Ian is now rolling toward the Carolinas. Good evening, I'm Angela Taylor. I'm Rod Carter, glad you could join us tonight. Right now, uh, Central North Carolina is under a tropical storm warning as that storm reaches hurricane strength again this afternoon. Chief Meteorologist Wes Tillenstein is here now, and you just got the latest update. Uh, tell us what we know. Yep, it became a hurricane again earlier today. It got a little bit stronger tonight. Now with 80 mile per hour winds, it's about 180. 80 miles south of Charleston, where the center is headed tomorrow afternoon. But impacts will start here overnight as rain arrives. It's moving north northeast at 10 miles an hour. And speaking of rain arriving, our radar is dry for most of central North Carolina. But as we look to our southeast, you can see that leading edge of rain that'll continue to overspread overnight. And that'll bring us our wet, windy, stormy and chilly Friday ahead. Not many changes to the forecast track. Again, expected to maintain that Category 1 intensity as it heads probably in between Charleston and Myrtle Beach with landfall tomorrow afternoon and then weakening significantly, turning into a remnant low, a depression, whatever we're going to call it. It'll stay to our west. But again, we're not so concerned with the name at this point as the impacts we will feel. Let's run down all the things we have to worry about tomorrow. Wind gusts between 40 and 50 miles per hour. That's why we have the tropical storm warning throughout tomorrow. We also have a flood watch. That'll take care of the two to six inches of rain we are still expected. Not widespread, but isolating flooding is possible. I mentioned our temperatures staying in the low 60s. And then the fourth thing we're keeping an eye on, that marginal and slight risk of severe weather in the afternoon and evening. As those bands of rain come through, they could produce some isolated tornadoes. So a lot to be worried about and watch out for tomorrow. It is an alert day. It'll rain most of the day. It'll be windy most of the day. That tornado threat later in the day. And if we do see any isolated flooding, that'll also come later in the day. Good news is we've got improvements for the weekend. We'll talk about that, and I'll walk you through the whole day hour by hour and show you what the radar will look like tomorrow in less than 15 minutes.